weeks, guys. Five weeks since the Oilers last won a game. And with five goals tonight over the Calgary Flames, the Edmonton Oilers have actually won. Thank you. Welcome back, guys. My name is Patrick, and this is the Fanatic Rundown. The Edmonton Oilers with an absolutely huge 5-3 to three victory over the Calgary Flames tonight. Leon Dreisaitl, two goals, two assists, four-point night. Evan Bouchard, two power play goals. The Oilers' power play has been absolutely atrocious lately. Bouch comes in, joins the first unit power play, puts in two goals tonight. No question in my mind whatsoever, Bouchard needs to be taking Tyson Berry's spot. I know this isn't a new idea. People have been saying this for a while, but... Absolutely, Boosh needs to be in there on the first unit power play. And Brendan Perlini, beautiful goal. Ugh, what an amazing game tonight. Obviously, nowhere near the Oilers' best effort. And one person in particular needs to be thanked for this win tonight. And ironically, it's the one that people have been all over lately, including me. Miko Koskinen was absolutely sensational tonight. Yes, he still gave up three goals, probably a couple of them bad ones. But in the third, if he does not stand on his head, the Oilers do not win this game. He stopped grade A chance after grade A chance after grade A chance against Calgary in the third, especially in the third. And he helps the Oilers come back, get an absolutely monumental victory tonight. All the talk was that if the Oilers lost tonight, that Dave Tippett could be out the door. But if Dave Tippett is putting Miko Koskinen down, the very guy he's putting down saved his job tonight because he was absolutely stellar. It did not look good down 2 to nothing after the first period. The only thought was, here we go again. Once again, the Oilers gave up the first goal of the game. The second goal... I don't know how the Oilers did not get the puck out of the zone. They had two or three chances that they screwed up all three of them. It ends up in the back of their net, 2 nothing Calgary. And it looks like I'm doing another disappointing fanatic rundown tonight, talking about Dave Tippett probably getting fired. But the Oilers completely changed the narrative, come back with three straight goals in the second to take a 3-2 lead. Flames tie at 3-3, unfortunately, before the second period ends. But Leon Dreisaitl, beauty toe drag goal in the third, puts the Oilers up 4-3, to three, gets the insurance goal with the net empty, and the Oilers pick up, like I said, a monumentally huge 5-3 to three victory. It feels so amazing to finally say that. I cannot tell you how absolutely sick I am of doing fanatic rundowns where the Oilers lose. It feels like forever since their last win. And my, please let this be the start of something. It feels so great to celebrate an Oilers win, especially over the Calgary Flames. That makes the win even sweeter. So, congrats, boys. Like I said, I'm not going to say this was like a dominating performance or anything like that. The Oilers did not have their A game tonight, but Miko Koskinen... His best performance in a long time. They got crucial goals when they needed to get the goals. And they come away with a huge 5-3 to three victory. Had some bounces go their way. Bouchard, like the power play, had to get going again. Power play comes through huge. Evan Bouchard getting two power play goals. And yeah, guys, it's fantastic to see. So thrilled for the team tonight. And thrilled for all Oilers fans who have been so desperate to see a win. I know some people might have been just been hoping for a loss tonight to see Dave Tippett fired, but like I've said before, I am so done with watching the Oilers lose. Losing's part of hockey. You're going to watch your team lose sometimes, but I'm an Oilers fanatic. I want to see some Oilers wins, and this feels great, and so happy for the boys tonight, pulling out a huge comeback victory over the Calgary Flames. 
Let's keep it going, boys. And down south, Dylan Holloway had his professional debut tonight with the Bakersfield Condors. And the Condors picking up a 4-3 to three win tonight. So it's a win for all the Oilers teams tonight. So fantastic start for Dylan Holloway. Two assists in his debut. Keeps that up. And I don't think it'll be too long before you see him in an Oilers uniform. So fantastic start for Holloway. Congrats to him on getting his first professional game in. Since I didn't do an Oilers rundown today, I'll do a few little news notes for you guys. So Ilya Konovalov, if you didn't hear, is back on the taxi squad. If you're watching the game, I'm sure you saw Stuart Skinner back on the bench. With Koskinen's performance tonight, we still might see him playing Vancouver on Tuesday, but there is a chance that Skinner gets the net back. It looks like it'll be Koskinen and Skinner for the next while at least. Mike Smith doesn't sound like he's any closer to a return, so... Unless Ken Holland can pull off a trade here, we're looking at Stuart Skinner and Miko Koskinen for the next while. Kyle Turris and Tim Soderlund obviously both cleared waivers, no surprise there. So Tim Soderlund's contract is now terminated. He's off to Europe. Kyle Turris was in the lineup tonight. Didn't really notice him tonight either, so we'll see what happens with Turris. Uh, he'll probably be a casualty if the Oilers do end up signing Evander Kane. It sounds like early next week we should get resolution on what's happening with Evander Kane. Uh, Elliot Friedman mentioned tonight that there was still no absolutely clear timeline, but again, someone from the fourth period, David Pagnota, saying we should hear Monday or Tuesday, so let's hope it's finally cleared up early next week. Elliot Friedman mentioned tonight that the Washington Capitals have entered the Evander Kane sweepstakes, so they're potentially another team that could land them. We believe the Florida Panthers and Carolina Hurricanes are also still in the bidding for them, so... No guarantee he comes to Edmonton. They've been mentioned a few times as the clear front runner, but still no guarantee there. If the Oilers can land Kane, that could be another boost for the team, depending on how you look at it. Or if Evander Kane's attitude's out of whack, it could be another downgrade for the Oilers. But let's hope if the Oilers do sign him that he can be another big top six forward for him and help with the push because the Oilers are in a big push right now. They need to get turned around. They need to string together some wins here to get back in the playoff race. Elliot Friedman also mentioning tonight, Ken Holland obviously not keen to give up a first-round pick, second or third for a goaltender. Uh, he was saying if the Oilers could get a deal done for a late-round pick, it probably would have been done already. So I don't know if you want to look at that as we might not even see a goalie trade at this point. Martin Jones was one of the names that was popping up a lot, but today Martin Jones gave up four goals in the first period to the Buffalo Sabres. So if the Oilers are looking at Martin Jones for help, they better start looking elsewhere because a goalie that gives up four goals in the first period is not going to help us right now. But yeah, guys, back to tonight. It is so amazing to finally be celebrating an Oilers victory. Once again, Miko Koskinen, amazing Leon Dreisaitl, two goals and two assists. Evan Bouchard, two huge power play goals. Koskinen, Dreisaitl, Bouchard are all my players of the game tonight. I could not pick just one of them. Play of the game, Miko Koskinen, Leon Dreisaitl. Miko Koskinen's huge saves. Leon Dreisaitl's go-ahead goal. They're both the plays of the game tonight. I, I can't with the win tonight and how many different guys were involved, I can't pick one guy for each thing. So, well, guys, let me know what you thought of the game in the comments section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Have a great night, guys. Crack a beer. The Oilers finally won. Have a great night, guys. Take care.